Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Before I jump straight to the problem, I want to remind you of the free resources that I have. Number one, I have a guide named How to Evaluate Your Education in the United States of America. Number two, another guide about Shear Moment Diagram, which has a solved example and then a few examples that I have collected from various FU materials. If this sounds something that you might need, click the links below and you'll be able to download them for free. Now let's move on with our example. A reinforced concrete beam is subjected to a factored moment MU equals 648 feet gibbs. For concrete FC, prime equals 4,000 PSI and for steel, FY equals 60,000 PSI. The beam is reinforced with eight number eight bars in two rows, positioned as shown in the figure below. It may be assumed without verification that phi equals 0 0.9. The minimum adequate overall width B for this beam is most nearly. So we have to calculate for B. Let's go ahead and check in the FE handbook the uh, formulas we're giving for this case. So go to structural design and we'll go to concrete there you go to resistance factors here beams flexure uh, we have that phi mn has to be greater and equal to mu let's uh, let me write this down when we are giving mu equals to 648 feet kips so this it gives me that mn equals to mu over phi, and that will be 648 over 0 0.9. And this means m, oh no, mn equals to, let me calculate that, 648. 0 0.9 divided. So that means Mn equals to 720 foot keep. So let's see, what do we do with this Mn? I'm looking here in this singly reinforced beams formula. Mn, we have two formulas here we can use either this one or this one. So I need to calculate B. So we can calculate B out of this formula, out of the A formula, but then we need to calculate A as well. So we know MN, right? We can use this formula to calculate A. So let's go ahead and do that. I will write this formula down. Mn equals to As Fy D minus A over two. And from here, let's do D minus A over two equals to Mn over As times Fy. And from here, uh, it results that D minus MN over AS FY equals to A over two. And I will just go ahead and do this all over again. A equals two. two times D minus MN over AS times FY. So let's see. Now D, let's see what is D. It's shown right here. D is the distance from X extreme compression fiber to centroid of longitudinal tension reinforcement. So extreme compression fiber to centroid of longitudinal reinforcement. So D is this distance 
compression fiber to centroid. So this is the centroid of, meaning that if we have studied a total, and then the distance from here to here, we have 2.5, and then middle of this, this is going to be 3.5. So D is equal to 30 minus 3.5. So I get 26.5 inches. So let me write this down. I'll do D equals 30 inches minus 3.5 and it's 26.5 inches. And now everything else, we know, we also have to, we know the AS, we just quickly calculated, we have 8.8 8 number eight bars. So to have eight number eight bars. So let's go back to this book, FE handbook. Let's see, I think the areas are provided here. There you go. So we have number eight bars and the area for one is 0 0.79. So we are going to do eight times 0 0.79 and 79, eight multiply. I get 6.32 inches squared. So now we are able to calculate A. Let's do two. 26.5 minus MN equals seven, 720 foot kips. Now let's pay attention here because our the FY is in uh, pounds per square inch. Uh, AS is in inches squared. D you have it in inches. Let's go ahead and transform this into uh, inches kips. I'll do inches kips. So 720 to transform it in inches kips, we have to just multiply it by 12, right? So I will have 86, 40, this is four, and this is going to be kip inch. We'll do this kip times inch inches okay let's uh use that in our equation so we'll have 86 40 as is in inches it's 6.32 multiply and fy it's going to be 60 ksi I'll use my calculator to calculate that. I get 7.43 inches. Okay, now with this, with A known, we can use the formula of A to calculate the B that the problem is asking us to calculate, the width of the beam. So let's use this formula, A equals S, A, S, F, Y, 0 0.85 FC prime times B. Let me write this down to A equals AS times FY over 0 0.85 FC prime B C prime times B. And from here, we will just calculate for B, which is going to be equal to AS Fy over A multiplied by 0 0.85 multiplied by Fc prime equals As is 6.32, Fy is 60 ksi, A is 7.43, times 0 0.85, FC prime is 4,000 PSI, which is four KSI equals. 
let's calculate that 6.32 60 multiplied 7 43 0 0.85 multiplied 4 multiplied and we get that b equals to 15 point zero one inches looking at our answers the correct answer is c that's it for today it was not a complicated problem at all. If you have any questions about this problem, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe because this helps people like you find me. Keep up the good work on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.